Okay. First Oblivion playthrough in... How many years is this? How many years is this? Seven years, I think? And uh, we have decided exactly how we're going to approach it. We are going to do a spell bow. Is that a word? I'm not really sure. But the uh, viewers on my Discord decided that it, it is as such. So we will be focusing completely on marksmen and I was spells. I 87 years ago. Not going to watch the intro. We're going to get right into character creation. Okay. I, I think of a marksman. I immediately think of, you know, elf, wood elf, maybe a Khajiit. Be a little sneaky. But then I think of spells. Oh, he's that, that. There we go. That's savage. It's Stogrum uh, from our from our Marwin playthroughs. Um, yeah, I immediately think wood elf or spells. I, I think of maybe a Breton. Uh, but I don't know if we want to do a Breton. I think we want to devote more to the marksman side. Because that's the side that I don't know as much. So I think we're I think we're gonna go Wood Elf. And if you're wondering why the game looks so beautiful right now, it is because I'm using the uh, Oblivion character overhaul. And and phew, I may have may have a couple texture replacers as well. So the clan folk of the Western Valenwood forests, also known as Bosmer, Wood Elves are nimble and quick, and they like to cannibalize their own uh, people. <laughs> So I, th I think this is the one. I love it. Uh, face. You know, let's just random. If, if I get too into character creation, oh man, we'll be here all night, all day. You know, the sun will rise and set. Well, that didn't change very much. Let's try, <laughs> let's try another one. Okay, that's that's, uh, that's a little spicier. I, li I like the uh, ear poking out of the hair there. Okay, maybe... Snow Elf? Anyone? Snow Elf? <laughs> there we go. I, th I think that's the one. That's the one. I like it as well as any. We have these abyss eyes. Now, it has, has to be nice and green, like the forests. For we are a wood elf. There we go. Young, old... I'd like to. I'd like to think our wood elf is a. He's a little haggard. He's he's fed up with global warming, you know, and the things that it's done to his woods. So, you know, he's a little. He's a little haggard. As a. No, he's he's right there, on his complexion. There he is. You must first enter a valid name. Okay. See, this is where the hard part comes. It, 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 I know it's not very original, but we're we're doing marksman, we're doing spell bow, you know whatever that is going to be. I gotta name him Robin. <laughs> I, I mean, I I see archer, I see bow, I immediately think of Robin Hood. So I, you know what, I'm going for it. Robin, the uh, Robin the Wood Elf. Are you sure you want to be a Wood Elf? Yes, I am sure. To move forward, push W. You know, that is a little bit too complex for me, you know? Haven't played Oblivion in a long time. I don't I don't think I can handle that. <laughs> hey, Wood Elf. You're a little far from the forest, huh? Looks like yes, your days indeed. of woodland frolicking have come to a tragic end. Oh, don't say to that. Go from the gladed realm of Valenwood. Valenwood. To a rat infested hole like this. How very sad. So very sad. Those walls must feel like they're closing in on you. Oh, yeah. Pretty soon you'll go mad, and the guards will cut your throat just to stop, stop the threat. rat. That's right. You're going to die in here, Wood Elf. <laughs> die. I wouldn't be so <laughs> sure of that. The guards are coming for you. <laughs> oh. Whatever will happen, I don't know. I, I don't know. Some heavy change, man. They, they <laughs> hardly moving. My job right now is to get you to safety. Get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. Usual mix Just, up the uh, you know, I... being Never imprisoned. Mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. No Stay put, sir. prisoner. 
Good. Let's aye, go. aye, Captain. We're not out of this yet. You. I've seen you. Let me see your face. Oh my you god, he looks great mind. in the overhaul. Then Holy the crap. Stars were right. This is the day. This guy used to look like silly Gods putty. Give me Uriel Septum. Oh my god. This this mod has done wonderful things for our man. What's going on? Assassins attacked my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. Ah, how convenient. Who I are you? I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. Why Perhaps am I in jail? Though? The gods have placed That's you here the real so question. that we may meet. <laughs> as for what you have done, it does not matter. Oh, there's the answer. That is not what you will be remembered for. I hope so. What should you I will do? Find your own oh. path. Beautiful Take Uriel care. Septum. There will be blood and death before the end. Okay. Please, sire, we must keep moving. Be safe. Be careful. Let's see what's gonna happen. Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. Looks like this is your lucky day. Just stay out of our I, I love how they're like, you know, just totally, totally chill with it. Yeah, the Emperor said it. I'm sure he's fine. Come on. He had, he had a dream about that guy. He's fine. I mean, he is the emperor. I mean, like, what can they say? But you're trained military officials, man. I could, I could be a loose cannon. You never know, right? Don't I look menacing with my, you know, spiky hair? Come on. I wouldn't trust me. Although anyone who's played Skyrim wouldn't trust an elf. Am I right? Close up left. Protect the emperor. Oh. Protect yourself. Protect myself? No, we're gonna get right into this. The taste of my fists, Ethan. <laughs> Your hand-to-hand -hand skill increased. Captain Reno. Captain Reno. Sorry, sir, but we have to keep moving. Not Reno. The beloved automaker from Europe. Whatever will we do without them? Okay, we're just gonna just gonna rob them blind. Oh, this doesn't even sell for any money, so actually, no reason to take it. I love that they don't give you the blades armor first off. It's almost as if it was by design. The first underestimate the blades. There's trouble I'll take point. Let's move. Let's move. Stay here, prisoner. Don't try to follow us. Hey, man! Any mods? What's going on, Ian? Welcome back. Yes, we have mods. We have uh. If you could tell by Uriel Septum's beautiful face, we have the Oblivion character overhaul uh, going on. We are just going to punch these rats out here. There we go. And then, ooh, I think I also put on some, like, texture replacers for, like, foliage and stuff. Uh, you need a weapon. Check Captain Reno's body to open any container, approach it, and push space. Okay. Well, we're going to get over here. Grab us a... Uh, Wakazashi. I don't think we have a bow yet. I think we pick it up over here, right? How have you been doing, Ian? I hope your I hope your day has gone well. You know, welcome to the weekend. Well, I guess not really welcome. We're halfway through it now, but you, know, you get what my you get my point. <laughs> I paid zero attention to the faces, but sweet, yeah. You know, ne next time, we get, when we get a nice close-up of uh, Mr. Septum, you, you, you'll be able to see he looks a, looks a little livelier. Got gold and sapphire. Very nice. Let's get the bow on. The, uh, the build is already starting. Now you're ready to practice with your bow. The bucket near the wall will make a good target. Okay, awesome. Yo, I totally pulled that. <laughs> <laughs> my the the DPI on my mouse is too high. Uh, it's been great. How about you? Been good so far. Can't complain. Had a had a lovely lovely day. Except I was apartment hunting, uh, and someone took the apartment that I wanted while we were uh, on another tour, which is pretty pretty hardcore. We missed it by like two hours. You know. 
So, so hopefully you didn't have any uh, great disappointments. <laughs> My roommate was pissed. Uh, much more so than me. Uh, okay, very easy. Opened with iron key. Very nice. Practice casting spells. Cast your selected spell. Push C. If you want to change spells, press tab. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, just, just some resto, some healing. Nothing too exciting yet. Although, do we have, like, a... Pretty sure we start with... It. Yeah, I knew it. We started with a flare. Start pumping some destruction up. What's our what's our focus going to be? I know Monster Kitty, I know Monster Kitty was talking about doing uh, like an illusion heavy kind of build. I think that could be pretty entertaining. Three torches? Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's the beginning of the game. Just grab everything. Weight doesn't exist. Oh, okay. More rats. Got to Got a bit of an infestation down here. Oop. And Zambos. <laughs> I must say, zombies look uh, zombies look much better in this game than Marwin. Oblivion got some things right, and that is a fact. Woohoo! All right, let's uh, let's look around, you know. Just keep keep our eyes peeled for the the rats, the oh. monstrous rats. Get out! Get out of my face, man! Get out of my face! There we go. <laughs> you know, I don't. Th this this is uh, this is making me not miss the uh, dice roll combat of Marwin very much. Click click and hit. <laughs> You know, if there was one thing I could probably I would change about the game, it, it, that that'd probably be it. I wouldn't change a lot about Morrowind. I I would change uh, I would change the combat. Oh, we're missing. We're missing. Be gone. No, back away. There we go. Need to tally up how many rats we've had so far. Oh, look at this! Look at this glitch right here. It's kind of wild. Our, our what? What is happening with our arrows? Look at that. Oh, my health is low. Flare it up. There we go. Hold on. Did you see that, Ian? Ishimura, welcome to the stream. Marwind quest markers for me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, that is kind of nice, but I, I do like it sometimes. It makes it feel like a bit more grand of an adventure, you know? Like you're actually very lost. Although sometimes, you know, I will concede, sometimes the directions are a little, a little bit too uh, opaque. <laughs> T turn left by the old bridge. And then, by the tree that has two branches, look for the blue lotus with one petal pointing south. And then, when the wind blows t to the north, you will smell your quest and be guided, you know, to the, <laughs> to the treasure. <laughs> Some of them are so bad. Alright, we got another rat here. Oh no. Ah, get out of my face. <laughs> like I can't I can't do I can't do any shooting. Keep keep getting right on me. There we go. Heal some minor wounds. Health's looking a little rough. Okay, maybe maybe one more other thing. Maybe one more. Now now Ishimura's got me thinking. Maybe one other thing I would change uh, about Morrowind is the fact that your uh, your magicka doesn't passively regenerate. 
I only played for uh, 10 hours, to be honest. It was difficult for someone like me to try and navigate without them. Hey, that's that's totally understandable, you know. I I, I would I would I would say there is a reason that <laughs> modern games don't do that, right? You know, there there is certainly a reason that the the switch was made. I th I think you know t to be honest, that's the only game that I can think of that actually took that direction uh, with directions <laughs> for for lack of a better word we got some silver goblets very nice healing sorcery your restoration skill has increased perfect uh, you can hotkey items and spells from your journal by holding down a number key and then clicking the item you want in that slot okay good to know so Ishimura, big Oblivion fan then, if if not so much Morrowind, more of a more of an Oblivion guy. I mean, you are in a Oblivion stream, so I assume the answer is yes. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got going on here. I think, oh, oh, hello, hello, our first non-rat enemy. Notice that the crosshairs change to an eye while you are sneaking. If it is dim, no one can detect you. Okay, perfect. Do we have a headshot? We do not. <laughs> but it works just as well. One more. Ooh. Nailed it. I also have to give a shout out to the uh, to the ragdoll. The ragdoll physics in Oblivion. <laughs> I am thoroughly enjoying watching that go. Uh, a mortar and pestle equipped to create potions. Okay. Stock caps. Very nice. Got a. Got dinner. You know, I ate pizza, but I can I can make room, right? I can make room. Uh, we we don't need any more rat meat. First try. Morrowind, Daggerfall, and Oblivion are great. Oh, uh, Ian, there's a. There's a game missing from that list. Uh, I wonder what, I wonder what your opinion is on that one. Haven't played it either. Okay, I've been meaning to play it for years, but I end up watching streams of it instead. Also, hey man, if it brought you here, I'm 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 happy you took that stance. You know, maybe one day, right? There is enough time for sure. All right, let's see if we can get another, you know, an actual headshot this time. Maybe I gotta aim a little up. Oh no, arrow drop. <laughs> get out of my, get out of my face. Ooh, there we go. What the heck is that? A Chotel. That is new. That is new. Uh, Skyrim is great too, but it doesn't feel as much of an RPG to me. That is that. You know, that's kind of the common thread with Bethesda nowadays, right? You know, I got... I, I hate to say it. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, viewers. I apologize. I, I caved. You know, I'm, I'm too much... I, I'm too much of Todd Howard's, like, favorite person in the world. I bought 76. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, but, yeah, not an RPG at all. <laughs> so that's the common Bethesda trend. Uh, you got a big backlog... And you, th you think you'll make the jump before Cyberpunk. Very nice. I was, I was talking about that game with my girlfriend just earlier today. I am super excited for Cyberpunk. What, what's next on your list then, Ishimura? You monster. I know. I know. I cracked. I had to do it, Ian. I couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> oh, that worked beautifully. <laughs> I, I I told you I told you Ian you know Todd Howard at this point he's got he's got you know his his big desk looking out from you know over the lands the barren wastes of uh, Bethesda Maryland right behind it there's a picture of me and it just says Coffee Nut Gaming our number one customer <laughs> he's the guy the man just won't stop buying our games it's, it's ridiculous. 
All right, what do we have here? Weak potion of healing. Potion of respite. What does this do? Restore fatigue, 20 points on self. And we are over encumbered. Um, let's, let's fix that. Let's start dropping. <laughs> oh, do I need to fix my key bindings? Oh, I think I do. Let me, let me check my key bindings real quick. Uh, controls. Uh, activate. Cast. Block. Where is run? Or, I mean, <laughs> drop. We can try, we can try Z. All right, I guess uh, I guess we just spam on the keyboard un until it works. No. How do we drop, <laughs> Ian? <laughs> right now, playing Rise of the Tomb Raider, and you just finished Far Cry Primal. Awesome, man. Awesome. What'd you think of Far Cry Primal? That is something that I looked at, but I never could commit to. I have an interesting love-hate relationship with the uh, Far Cry series because I loved Far Cry 2 and then Far Cry 3 was amazing but it started to lose me and then uh, and then I fell back and I guess I I kind of fell back in love with it with the, the most recent one. Ian, how do we drop things? <laughs> you can tell this is a a semi-blind playthrough, almost completely blind. And, and I'm actually just looking up the key binding. I'm hoping we're not having a bug here. Uh, drop. Hold. Tab? That's not it. That's Steam. <laughs> it's alright. Nice, talking about Far Cry Primal. Yes, you think... It's decent, and you prefer Blood Dragon. Now, that is something I wish I had had a chance to play. Shift-click. There we go. There we go. Okay. Guys, when you're in trouble, just go to the internet. Uh, and let's let's get our bow back on. We got we to gotta stick to character. Thank you for bearing with me while we learned how to drop items. <laughs> this, is, this is legit, people. Semi-blind. And I'm saying semi because I played this on Xbox when, about seven years ago, maybe? Oh, God. Stay away. Stay away. Oh, God. We missed. No. Oh. One more. Boom. Okay. Got to get used to the combat. I'm used to I'm used to slow paced Morrowind. I've done I've done about what two playthroughs of Morrowind in a row now. <laughs> I've got to got to branch out, got to relearn, get my get my sea legs on Oblivion. Okay, what do we have going on here? Let's scope it out. If I remember correctly, there is a goblin shaman somewhere around here. Oh, there he is, creeping over there. Let's get it. No! <laughs> he blocked for his buddy. Oh, that's annoying. Come on, man. He he like Mr. President in, right right in front of that arrow. That was that was kind of ridiculous. I mean, what what are we gonna do? What's a what's a poor wood elf to do? Alright, there we go. I actually got the sneak attack. Oh, come on, one more. All right. It's P it's Phi. Yes, I'm back. What's up, man? Uh I started I started back on this beautiful beautiful streaming grind uh probably about 2 weeks ago. You I'm I'm only about 2 2 or 3 streams back, you know. Got a got a new job, so my time is at a bit more of a premium than it was back in the day. But man, I'm excited to see you back in chat. Welcome back. I hope you've been doing well. I hope you've been doing well. Oh god. 
you know, new stream, new new game. We're actually not playing Morrowind today, believe it or not. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to I'm trying to devote to the bow and not pull out my flare just yet. I don't want to lean too heavily on it. Got the flawed ruby, awesome. And Ian, you played on uh, 360 and Xbox One. Are you talking about Oblivion, or are you, are you talking about other video games? You have found a repair hammer. Equip it to repair your weapons and armor using your armorer skill. Damaged weapons and armor are less effective. Aye, aye, Captain. The note has been thoroughly taken. In, well, probably not remembered, but it was taken. So I can reference it later. Reinforced pan. Uh, let's check this. Let's, you know, you gotta gotta get all the loot you can in these games. I think we're getting close to encumbered again. Truly, truly living the Bethesda life here. Uh, what do we want to drop? Let's drop the shit tell. It's not it's not worth a ton of gold. And then you know we'll just grab some experience here from the old. The old rats. It's uh, just, you know, pin cushions. They're experience cushions. <laughs> Add some weapon mods, like some Marwin weapons, crossbow spears, darts and stuff. Ah, okay. I will look into that. That's great. Never played this one either, but glad to be back watching you kill some rodents. You know, man, times change. But apparently people don't. <laughs> I was killing rodents then, and I'm killing rodents now, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Alright, got the lockpick. I gotta get used to the lockpicking mechanic. You know, I'm I'm used to I'm used to Fallout 4, you know, the, the Fallout minigame. I have very little experiences with the uh the Oblivion minigame. Oh, we have met back up with the Emperor. Very nice. Oh, hello, Mythic Dawn. Stand down. There we go. That guy was really into that kill. <laughs> no, he is not one of them. Would I recommend graphic mods on first playthrough or vanilla? They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what you, I've are, seen. Do you mean on um a Morrowind or on um Listen, Oblivion Ishimura? You know the nine, how they guide our fates with an invisible hand. Uh the nine guide and protect us. I'm not on good guys, I'm not on good terms with the I've gods. Served the you know, I, I listen to too much metal. I'm I sorry. I chart my course <laughs> by the cycles of the heavens. Ooh. The skies are marked okay. with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well. I'll get to you right after I the wonder, star, I promise. Which sign marked your Which sign marked my birth? Okay. And uh, both if I like. So Oblivion has terrible uh, face graphics vanilla. So if graphics are very important to you, I'd I you know it I'd look into the Oblivion character overhaul, which is what I'm using on this playthrough. And then Morrowind I mean, I, I saw you listed, you were playing mostly modern games now, so the <laughs> Morrowind looks, looks very rough, vanilla, but there is a package of like hundreds of mods that has one installer called the Morrowind Graphics and Sound Overhaul, and if you use that, it takes Morrowind and updates it to about late 360 graphics, so that'll give you kind of a benchmark. I highly recommend it. I, I you know, I think it's super lore friendly and and it really, really gives the game a new life. And and now we're gonna look at signs. I'm thinking either thief or shadow, because I want to kind of lay into my my marksman archer approach. So I get a ten point bonus to agility, speed, and luck. Very nice. What is the serpent? Cause a slow but potent poison on touch. Eh, that doesn't help our bow. Moon shadow power once a day to become invisible. Uh, bonus to speed. Uh, that's just opening locks. What do we think, guys? 
between the thief and the shadow. Do we want to be invisible or do we just want to get do we just want to get the stats? What do we think? Uh cool, we'll look into character overhaul marts. Yes, they are definitely worth it. Oh, a, a metal a fellow a fellow metalhead. Awesome. Ishimura. Throw some of your favorite bands out in the chat. I, I would I would love to know. I could I could talk about metal all day. I I, th I think I think we're gonna go spicy and take the shadow, you know, sneaky archer and oblivion. I, this is a little more exciting to me than just the flat stat bonuses, so I I'm I'm falling into the shadow. The signs I read show the end of my path, my death, a necessary end will come when it will come. Indeed. And what is I I wish oblivion had spears, Argonian spearmen was fun to play in Morrowind. Ah, yes. A, a lizard lover you are, Ian. Your stars Spears are were a mine. great weapon. Today the shadow shall hide you from destiny's cunning hounds. I'll take that. Can you see my, my fate, Emperor? My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face I behold the sun's companion, the dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. That sounds pretty good. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. Awesome. I mean, we'll take, we'll take, you know, our face like the gleaming sun. We'll take that. <laughs> but, but are you afraid to die? No trophies Emperor. of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well. And my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death. To I don't face know about that. my apportioned fate, then fall. I don't know if I'd want to know the hour of my death, guys. I what what do y'all think? That freaked me out. I, I couldn't. I I I try and stop it. I try and change it. I feel like I'd I live totally to differently. Grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. Okay. All right, we get to hang out with uh You may as well make Emperor yourself here. useful here. Carry this torch and stick close. Aye, aye, Captain. Stick close and let us do our job. All right. You'll be all right. Uh, I'm curious to know whether you've ever played Terraria. Uh, not quite an RPG, but it hits most of the beats. Could be one if you squint. <laughs> I actually got super into Terraria um, probably about three years ago. I played the ever-living crap out of Terraria. I probably have, I probably have like 90 hours, 100, 100 something hours in Terraria. Oblivion takes prisoner. Which I know is not a ton, like if you're a super hardcore Terraria fan, but I like I got the hard mode, um, and, and I, I really got into the building aspect. I stayed in my normal mode world forever. Really drug it out. Ooh, favorite band is probably Moon Sorrow. Also like Stomsk, Sargeist, Bathory, good taste. Ghost Brigade, I actually don't know Ghost Brigade. I know Moon Sorrow. Grab this potion of healing. Let's let's try and get in the fight here. And it's already over. <laughs> well, I will shoot there so I can pick up my arrow. Let's see what he had. Oh, nothing really. Uh, the only stuff I listen to daily with screaming is early 2000s emo or screamo. Whatever you want to call it. Midwest pen pals and merchant ships. I really liked what you've thrown in the discard so far, Ian. Um, Hold up. Not not the usual music I seek out. So I, I love that you you know bring that perspective in for me. I uh, haven't heard of them. I listen to black metal the most. That's awesome. One of my favorite bands. Now I know you're you're gonna you're gonna scoff at me if you're a you know really hardcore black metal fan. One of my favorite bands is Immortal. I love the crap out of Immortal. <laughs> and I've seen I've seen Abat. Um, I've seen him live. That was awesome. What about that side passage back there? 
Worth Ooh, a try. Worth a try. Let's, go. Let's go. Okay. I've seen Abbot. I like. I love. I love Immortal. Like I said, and then, um, Demu Borgir. I listened to a like early Bathory. I'm not a huge fan of their new it's stuff, but. End. Immortal are great, man. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, a lot of black metal people, you know, sometimes hate my love of uh, hate my love of immortal. Oh, ten bits. Thank you for the cheer. Thank you so much. I can go no further. Oh, okay. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not, not have, have the amulet, amulet of kings. kings. Take the amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last... Find awesome. him and close <laughs> shut the jaws of Oblivion. He, they said it, guys. <laughs> they said the name. Thank you so much for the bits, by the way. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uriel, no! That's right. <laughs> Geop, welcome. Alright, what do we have? What do we have? Black metal is too satanic. I feel like I'm gonna meet Satan himself. That's that's kind of the fun, though, right? That's kind of the fun. <laughs> At least feeling like it. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the emperor's body. He gave it to me, Baris. Don't worry. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The Amulet of Kings is a sacred symbol of the Empire. Most people think of the Red Dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. Okay, I... C he must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? Okay, guys. Have, have y'all seen the Joffrey Jam on YouTube? <laughs> I can't... It, it is so hard for me to seriously listen to this after I've heard the Joffrey Jam. If you haven't heard it and you're an Oblivion fan, please do yourself a favor and listen to the Joffrey Jam. It is, it is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Joffrey, he said that? Why? If you like a mortal, you definitely like Inquisition, I think. Very similar. Okay, I will have to look into that. Nothing I've sure. heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the, near city, the city of Coral. Okay. How do I get there, Boris? Am I using graphic mods? Boris looks different from what I remember. Yes, I am. I'm using the Oblivion character overhaul. Uh, as you can see, it really brings out the the wrinkles on uh, Mr. Boris here. We need to get out of here. <laughs> Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. Okay. It's a secret, secret way, way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. Awesome. There are rats the sewers, and goblins guys. down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced assassin. Am I right? <laughs> you're right. <laughs> you now must choose your class. The major skills of your class will start higher than your other skills. You will increase your level by raising these major skills. Okay. Okay, guys. What do we want? What are we thinking? I know we already talked about... Um, I know we already talked about in the Discord doing a spell bow, whatever that means... Uh, marksman and spells so we're gonna try and find something that fits that the best if anyone has any ideas you know let me know uh, I like a lot of emo uh, alt rock with emotional lyrics like the mathy emo yeah yeah that's good that's that's good stuff man like what was it tiny moving parts that you throw in the discord that was great I really enjoyed that um, so archer obviously kind of straightforward armor Marksman Blade, Sneak, Blunt, Hand-to-Hand, -hand, Light Armor. The only thing that I'm not seeing here is the uh, the spell casting. So we may have to do a custom class. Destruction, Alteration, Blade. Nope. Pilgrim. What about a Rogue? Illusion, Athletics, Blade, Mercantile, Alchemy, Block, Armor. Nope, not there either. Uh, spell, Sword. Destruction, Alteration, Blade, Block... See, we basically want that, but we just want Blade replaced with Marksman. Uh, acrobatics, Light Armor, Marksman, Mercantile, Security, Sneak, and Speechcraft. That seems pretty close. 
Uh, mods have aged in 10 years. Yes. <laughs> Not depressed, but I vibe with it. You know, same, same, with, uh, same with black metal <laughs> and me, right? Let's, let's see. Combat, magic. Do we want to focus on the magic or the stealth? Acrobatics, light armor, marksman, mercantile. I think so. Because this has the marksman, right? And then probably agility. And let's see. Which one does illusion? Personality. Okay. Because we're going to focus on marksman and illusion. That's kind of going to be our path for this one. Choose seven major skills. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going to catch up with chat. I love TMP. Awesome. You don't like pop emo. Is is that mutually exclusive, right? I feel like emo has to be <laughs> way out here. And then pop's like way out there somewhere. Uh, way different than MCR. Okay. Let's see. What are we going to do? I think acrobatics would be good. Uh, we want destruction. Illusion, definitely. Marksman, sneak. And what what what's our last? Do we want restoration? What do we think? I think we do take well, we theoretically shouldn't be in combat that much. So is restoration really worth it? Mmm. Speechcraft may be better. You know what? Let's take speechcraft. And mysticism. There we go. Enter a name. We gotta go with it. I coined it in the Discord, and it shall be the Spellbow. Create the Spellbow class. Yes. Not to be mixed up with Bilbo. Done. Are you sure you want to be a Spellbow? I yes, I am. Far off. In any case, rats and goblins won't give you any trouble. Ah, uh, you'll scoff at me. You prefer Viking era Bathory, you know, to the early stuff? Hey, man, to each their own. Some people like early era mayhem, right? I mean, some people like late era mayhem rather than, you know, you early, early era mayhem. To Joffrey. Take no chances, some people are just confused. But proceed to Wayne and Priory <laughs> immediately. Got it? Yes, I understand. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. Uh, what about you? What will you do, Boris? I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. Thank you, Boris. May Talos guide you as well, my friend. Centuries ago, a great battle took place in Anvil Bay. In the battle, the legendary pirate Toradin Ap Dugal... Oh, is this the DLC? Uh, captain of the infamous Black Fad was defeated by the first count of Anvil. Uh, if the rumors are to be believed, the final resting place and uh, of Captain Dugal and his ship has been uncovered, and I should investigate them soon. Cool. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think that had to do with the uh, main quest. Oh, yeah, this is the DLC. I just saw horse armor activated. All right, well, later, Boris. It was a pleasure. We will catch up at Wayne and Priory. I'm trying to think of the other, you know, black metal bands that I listen to. I don't listen to a ton of it. Boris and Abbot are, are my main, are my main loves. And in the black metal genre. Oh, Mayroon's Razor. Getting all the DLC in. Frost Crag Spire. <laughs> Alright, Bethesda, there, there has to be a better way to do this, right? Do I see another? Do we have more? Is there one more? Oh, I thought that would have I thought that would have one shot. We need to do, we need to do some more forearm workouts. <laughs> uh, Charmer Sports, Mom's Jeans, Closure, Tiny Moving Parts, Stars Hollow, Oversight Gallery, Midwest Pen Pals, Park Jefferson. I've heard of Park Jefferson some of Ian's favorite bands. Nice. I'm seeing Mayhem on October if it doesn't get canceled. Oh, I know. I I was planning on seeing them uh, with Abbot on that uh, 
what was it, the Decibel Magazine tour or something? I can't quite remember. I really hope it doesn't get canceled, because I was going to go to that show as well. And they're with, like... Oh, who is it? It's like, uh... Gate creep, uh, grave, grave keeper or something. I can't remember. They're all super little. Okay. Well, you know, sometimes those are the best bands, man. Don't need a lot of fans to be an incredible band. And in fact, sometimes it's more fun. I remember I saw a little folk metal band uh, that was kind of local to the area, and they blew me away. But it was the coolest thing ever, because after the show, we all got together and, and, you know, like, hung out. And I, I replied to their, you know, YouTube videos and stuff. And they'd like all, like all of them and give me a personal message as a response. And, you know, there's some perks to liking smaller bands. Oversight Gallery over, only have 100 monthly listeners. Wow, that, okay. That is pretty small. And, <laughs> and you're one of them. You are one one hundredth of their fan base. It's pretty cool. Alright guys, we did it. Tutorial complete. The spell bow. Out into the out into the scary, scary scary high fantasy world of oblivion. Another DLC quest. <laughs> All right, where do we want to go first? Do we walk, you know, just randomly into the great beyond, or do we head to Wayne and Priory? That's the real question. The red arrow on your compass shows the direction of Wayne and Priory. You can walk there by following the compass. Good luck. Thank you, thank you. I know I need it. <laughs> I remember so little about this game. I need all the luck I can get. All right, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna head uh, to the Imperial City up up here and uh, drop drop all this high tier loot that we got, so we can uh, get nice and uh, freed up for our our quest to Wayne and Priory. If there if there's any must do, fun and exciting quests on the way, please feel free to let me know. Your athletics has increased. I only know Oversight Gallery because my friend plays bass guitar. Cool, man. Forum. They're from your town. Nice. Gotta support the local bands. Everybody's gotta start somewhere, right? Let's see. What do we have here? The Prison District. Uh, don't think we're gonna be dropping our loot there. <laughs> he plays a short-scale violin body bass. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. What is that? What does that look like? A short scale violin bodied bass. Is that like a ukulele? <laughs> I don't know. Is that is that what a a ukulele is to a guitar but a bass? What is it now? We gotta go see our little elvish friend here, the copious coin purse. I do remember this guy. I don't know why. <laughs> Vividly from the 360, I remember this guy. Although he looks what kind much of better now. Can I make for you today? Uh, let's let's just barter, my friend. Can I interest you in some of my wares? No. But can I interest you in some of my wares? Yeah, we're just gonna give it away. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wear that. Shield, don't need it. Heavy armor, don't need it. Get it out of here. We are light, and we That's are nimble. You got a great deal. And we are committing to that. <laughs> Anything else random that I can drop? You can have all the rat meat. I don't know what you're going to do with it, but you can have it, you know. He he wants it for some reason, right? That see. Get rid of a our fun. rubies, topaz, nugget, and then goblet and bones if we have any other bones lying around. All right, that should do it. A pleasure. Thank you, sir. We are Goodbye. off to Wayne and Priory. Come again. Oh. <laughs> no one saw that. 
<laughs> uh, I have friends to jam with, and we were thinking of starting a band. Do it, man. I say do it because if you don't do it, you'll always be thinking, man, what if I had done that? You know, you never know unless you try, right? You never know. You could be the next big Midwest emo, I, I don't know, power trio? <laughs> it could be awesome, Ian. It could be awesome. Okay, look, wow, look at that. This game has very impressive draw distance, actually. Not, not bad, Oblivion. You know, not doing too bad. Aged like a fine wine. Uh, the bass is just a bass with a violin body and has a scale closer to a standard six-string electric guitar, but a little bigger. Okay. So, do they use normal gauge bass strings, or do they have to get, like, a really small gauge of string? Because I feel like, you know, if you put a normal bass string on a <laughs> on something as long as a six-string guitar, it'd snap the neck in half, right? <laughs> Okay. That chat, you just blew my mind. Can we talk about, guys, can we talk about how Cinnamon Toast Crunch are cannibalistic? That, that's big, okay? That's big. <laughs> Welcome to chat, Mulger. Awesome. Ooh, yeah, maybe, is it like, is it out of necessity? Do they just like eating each other? Is it some kind of, like, ritualism? Does anyone know? Does anyone have any have any insights on that? <laughs> uh, it would be a four-piece band. I'd play rhythm and vocals if we started. That sounds great, man. Okay, they do use the same strings. Good to know. You know, I've learned something new, guys. What is Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Is it a spreadable topping? It is not. It is a cereal... A cannibalistic cereal, uh, as Mulgar has pointed out. Those savages. All right, is <laughs> has is our draw distance farther than the water? <laughs> the water hasn't even loaded in yet. The Way Shrine of Julianos. Uh. You know what? Let me grab a save. I haven't, I haven't grabbed a save here in a while. Know the truth. Observe the law. Pray at my chapel altars to receive my blessings. Aye, aye, Captain. They're crazy good. I think I remember that commercial now that you mention it. It's fine. <laughs> well, they usually lick each other then eat. Whoa. That's right, they gotta, gotta test the waters, you know? <laughs> but the thing that's screwed up when you think about it is they do that, right? And they're still okay with it. Disgusting. And that's why I eat tricks, all right? Tricks rabbit ain't out there eating other rabbits, okay? It's pure cereal. <laughs> ah, we don't get it here in the UK. Ah, okay. That explains it. Well, you know, being America, it's covered in sugar and, and cinnamon. Very unhealthy, <laughs> but it tastes great. And and right now, uh, just by the way, we're, we're just going to go ahead and make our way to the city of coral. Continue the main quest. Uh, my Wi-Fi bugged out. What were you saying to what I said about the band? That is a good question. <laughs> you know, stranger, there comes a time in every man's life when he has to admit that he's lost the fight. Well, I've fought and I've lost. Oh, no. Who did I lose to? Who is my great enemy? Well, don't laugh. It's a bunch of damn fish. Damn fish. Also, Ian, I was talking about how putting normal gauge bass strings on a short scale bass, that makes me feel like it'd like snap in half or something, man. You know, like the string tension would just... Just like crack it open. I really want to laugh in his face. Uh, the Trix Rabbit is for sure going to take those kids down someday. Uh, you know, he's he's yeah, he's shown he's 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 given some clues in in that direction. You're not wrong there. You're not wrong. We'll we'll have to 
see on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z, right? I'm, I'm just going to ah, laugh at him. Come see, on, man. I knew you'd laugh. Some big hero you are. You're all the same. Nothing to do but laugh at an old man and his troubles. That was funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, he does not like me. Oh, man, you just got to... Got to beat the fish, my, my friend. <laughs> you know what? Let's on on our way to Coral. Let's stop here at this inn. Let's see if we can get into some uh, maybe a side quest uh, or something to, to do Wanted on the way. Inn. Could I interest you in a room or perhaps a bit of wine? How about some adventure and intrigue? Let's see what the rumors are. Everyone's talking about the assassination, of course. Here, take my copy of the new Black Horse Courier. Go ahead, keep it. Okay. Uh, how about one Ancient more rumor? Ancient way shrines of the Nine are scattered through the wilderness. The righteous who pray there receive powerful divine blessings. I don't know. Did I get a divine blessing from Julianos? Have a I, oh, I did. It's right up there. A fine journey okay, I was about to say, am I not righteous enough? <laughs> am, I, am I not righteous enough for uh, Julianos' shrine? Well, sadly, there was no no one in there. <laughs> Except for one person, so our our hope of a side quest doesn't seem to be uh, fulfilled in that location. So we will we will soldier on through the incredibly green wastes. Although up here, this this does look like a dungeon to me if I have ever seen one. Uh, coral, okay, heading the right way. Trying to, trying to keep my eyes peeled. I mean, there's got to be evil afoot, man. A destroyed tower. My my fantasy senses are tingling. Uh, yeah, I was saying earlier before my Wi-Fi died, it would be a four-piece band, and I would play rhythm guitar and vocals. That'd be awesome, dude. Okay, that 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 deer freaked me out. I totally thought that was someone running out to get me. <laughs> Oh, what do we have here? We've stumbled upon a, an old camp, it seems. A torn sack of grain with nothing in it. Lovely. Well played, Todd. Well played. <laughs> you had me. Oh, oh god. Oh, okay. No. Reposition. Okay, being a marksman is much harder in Oblivion. Everything just is so fast. In Morrowind, everything goes like five miles an hour. I'm used to Morrowind. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Well, we, we're just going to have to become backpedal champions, it seems. Can we make it up? Let's take a... Take a jump. And another jump. Is this a... Another shrine here? Oh. It's just a statue. Dang it. <laughs> I got my hopes up, man. Alright, on to Coral. What is what is this showing on our map? Oh, there's a door over here. Okay. Okay, maybe not. Let's not give up hope yet. Uh, make sure to holster your weapon while walking up and talking to people. They will have a better liking for you. Did, oh, okay. So they carried that over from Morrowind, right? I didn't. I didn't realize that was still a mechanic in Oblivion. All right, Fort Nikhil, our first dungeon. Let's uh, let's see what happens. I sense evil afoot. Gonna take a crouch here. Okay, okay. Uh, bandits? Right? Looks like just a simple bandit, maybe. Nothing too crazy. I want him to walk right back around. Alright, he may not do it. Oh, God! <laughs> I am so not used to using a bow. Alright, he didn't hear us, so that actually didn't go so bad. Ah. 
Ooh, stay away. Stay away, stay away, stay away. <laughs> no. Oh my god. One more, one more. There we go. You know what? This guy has beautiful hair. Uh, is there as many dungeons in Oblivion and Morrowind like Skyrim? You know, that's a great question, uh, Ishimura. I don't remember. <laughs> like, like, like it says, semi-blind, this is, uh, this is my first playthrough in probably about seven years. So, you know, maybe, maybe another viewer could answer that question a little better than myself. I assume so. I'm, you know, there's, there has to be, right? It's a, it's an Elder Scrolls game. Oh, no. I gotta, I gotta focus up here. No! Alright. Oh, gosh. Confirmed hardest part of the game. One more. <laughs> this is, this is the one. Alright. This is the one. Damn it. <laughs> Okay, this is the one. Alright, we're off to a good start. No! <laughs> Nailed it. Lock level easy. Yeah! I don't know about easy. <laughs> I totally didn't auto-attempt it. No one saw that. That was, uh, that was a glitch, you know? I mean, you know Elder Scrolls games and their glitches. Just auto attempt. I, I did. <laughs> that's that's gonna take some getting used to the 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 lock picking. I'm I'm so used to uh the Fallout and Skyrim minigame. Okay. The plot thickens. I hear people talking. Lock level easy. <laughs> no. I can't hear them. Hello, who's there? Oh, someone, someone's here. Someone, I think they're right under me. Very easy. Much more my speed. <laughs> okay, first try. Nailed it, guys. Getting better all the time. You know what we need to do, probably. If we're we're gonna we're gonna have to blow the doors open on this thing, so we need to we need to pull out our destruction magic and get ready for the fight. Because as soon as I sling an arrow over there, we've got about four hostiles ready ready to retaliate. Should probably stay up here, right? Dude, someone hears me, and I have no idea where they are. Here we go. Hasta la vista, baby. Boom! <laughs> one shot, one kill. Oh. Wait, they killed her. Wait a minute, they just killed her. What? What? And now he's swimming? What is happening? Are they gonna come loot the bodies? No. <laughs> what is... I have no idea what's happening. You know, we're just gonna go for it. They're distracted, so we're gonna go for it. Oh my god, long play. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing great. You inspired me. Look at look at me. I'm not playing Morrowind. <laughs> oh god, we are getting dunked on right here. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's let's finish this mano a mano. How are you doing, long play? Hope your night's going great. Guys, this is long play. She's awesome. She also plays Oblivion. Go check her out. Just blew that guy away. Got a reed bow. Awesome. How's everybody doing tonight? Silver? What is going on? 
Sup, Nut, Kent. Great to see you. Uh, did you inspire me to save, too? Not anywhere near as organized of a fashion, but <laughs> yes. All right, let's, uh, let's try and finish this off. We got one person left. You know, we lost our element of surprise, which is the only element that we really have at this point in our playthrough. Also, thank you for the follow, Kent. Hope you're having a great night. How, how did the stream go, Anna? You have 1765 saves? Oh my gosh. We have a grand total of, what, five now? <laughs> I just started. This is my first playthrough of Oblivion in about seven or eight years. All right, let's, let's loot these fools up. The Crescent Dagger. Okay, that looks cool. Worn short bow, we'll take that. And of course, I mean, you know me, Long Clay. It's it's modded to heck and back. Uh, where am I in the game? I just started. So we have not yet made it to Coral. We were going to meet Joffrey, and we got a, you know, just a, just a little bit distracted on the way there. <laughs> as, as is tradition in an Elder Scrolls the game, though. If you're not if you're not off the beaten path, are you really playing an Elder Scrolls game, right? Oh, ready to go eat. Get out of here. Go eat. That was me last last time I was streaming. I think I streamed for three hours and forty five minutes. I ended at eleven, and that was when I ate dinner. It, it was pretty tragic. <laughs> streaming is uh not the healthiest, you know hobby we could have chosen, but here we are. <laughs> Alright, so I think that's Fort Nikhil complete. And I think we're going to be back on the road to Coral. Uh, I don't really want to, I don't really want to weigh myself down too much in case we find some more dungeons to delve on the way. So I think we're just going to walk out here and hit the road. I've lost so many arrows to just, like, pure misfires. I'm, s I'm still trying to use uh, the Morrowind controls, because I have, you know, I've played that game so often <laughs> recently. Uh, it's, it's kind of emblazoned itself into my head. Loading area. Awesome. How far away are we from Coral? That is a good question. Well, I got a fair piece to go. Nice, nice, peaceful night in Tamriel. <laughs> right? I'm, I'm a man of my word, long play. Okay? I'm a man of my word. Ready to hit the road? You hit the road. <laughs> How have you been uh, enjoying Oblivion so far? I know... I know you really enjoyed your uh, Dark Souls 3 stream the other day. I really enjoyed it as well. Uh, my wife guy keeps going down and I'm using all my data. Hey man, if you got a if you got a dip, then then by all means and you know, just thank you for stopping by. Hey, if you got to head out, go ahead, man. I will catch you in the Discord. Later on, drop a drop another uh, couple Midwestern emo bands for me to check out, right? <laughs> oh, evil afoot! It's right behind us. Oops. Okay, being a marksman, pretty pretty uh, interesting play style in Oblivion, I must say. One more. Right between the eyes. Nailed it. Iron arrow. Thank you very much. Wolf pelt. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, it's working now. Great. You just had cinnamon... <laughs> you just had some cinnamon toast crunch, man. I am, I am happy that you're eating that cannibalistic cereal. All right. You know, I actually got much angrier trying to climb mountains in Morrowind than I ever did dying in uh, Dark Souls. 
okay, common effect of playing Marwind is being very frustrated with the terrain. <laughs> Understandable. Also, we are just going to explore this ruin here a little bit. I am, uh... I am captivated by this structure. And l let me tell you, Longplay, the way around that, okay? The way around that is just play a mage character, and then you can just levitate everywhere. It's beautiful. <laughs> but the, the, the one drawback of that is every other Elder Scrolls game, you know, after you've flown over the world like, you know, Iron Man or something, Feels, it feels a little duller without that mechanic. That is something I really hope. Guys, Elder Scrolls 6. If Elder Scrolls 6 doesn't bring back levitation, we gotta, we gotta march our way back up to Bethesda, Maryland. You know. Teach, teach Todd. Teach Todd how to, how to make some game mechanics. <laughs> I see what you did there. The way around that. Exactly. Oh, you didn't know about levitation potions at the time. Oh, man. So you had a really rough time then. Yeah, at least if you're not a mage, you can kind of like cheat your way around it, you know, with levitation potions. Water walking potions. Being a mage in that game is so fun. Highly recommend that if you uh, ever do another playthrough of Morrowind. Alright, I think we found another dungeon to dive here. So we may have to may have to get in a little more trouble. Grab another save. Return. And then into Fort Ash. What evils await us here? Bones, always a good sign. Well, it's it's oddly quiet. It's too quiet. It's like everything's dead, or something. <laughs> okay. Still holding out on me. Oh, goblins. Good old goblins. Man, I was hoping for some uh I was hoping for some zombies or some necromancers. Something nice and dark to get Ishimura excited. <laughs> if our you know resident black metal fan is still in the chat. Hey, long play, I know you said you were hungry. You know, it looks like somebody already cooked up some dinner. <laughs> I'm not saying it'd be wise to eat it, but hey, you know, you want to be a good guest, right? Got to respect the host. <laughs> I am not a Bosmer. <laughs> I love it. Oh, yes. Excellent. A a well played, long play. Well played. Well played. Ooh. Knee capped him. So it seems that in Oblivion, as in every Elder Scrolls game, Sneaky Archer is just as busted. Iron Bow, that actually may be better than what we have. I think we have a Rusty Bow, correct? Yep, Rusty Iron Bow. You know, let's be spicy and use the Reed Bow. Think this is a mod weapon? Question mark? Also... Oh, hey, we, here we go. <laughs> Knights. What is this? Uh, Shivering Isles. Yeah, Shivering Isles quest marker. Awesome. I was about to say Knights of the Nine, and I was like, mm, wrong. And Ishimura is still here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, so whatever happened in this room to that guy, we don't want it to happen to us. I don't know a lot, but I do know that. <laughs> Smile. Three times damage. Thank you. A couple more iron longbows. So I think uh, I'm uh, 
picking up what this man is putting down. And I think we just got a big old dart trap up here. Let's see if I can carefully sneak into the side. Maybe loot his foot. There we go. <laughs> Total immersion. We are we are actually doing really great on weight right now. All right, Ian with the Elder Scrolls Six wants. Here we go. Elder Scrolls Six needs medium armor, crossbows, spears, darts, sabers, shurikens. So all the weapons from Morrowind. I agree. Uh, true RPG elements and better not be a disappointment. Better make me happy, Todd Howard, or I'm coming for those kneecaps. <laughs> well said. Well said. Hey Todd, I heard you liked walking. All right. Well, you know how to you know how to make that keep happening. <laughs> the free man. Last you saw, I was punching super mutants. I know, and that was months ago. Welcome back, free man. I'm so happy to have you back in chat. I hope you've been doing well. Hope you've been doing well. All these all these crazy days that have been between me and Fallout 4. God, it feels like a lifetime ago, doesn't it? Welcome back. Welcome back. I hope you've been doing well. Uh, and we need weapon and armor crafting stuff from ESO where you can special race armor. Could you tell me a little bit more about that? I actually... I am not familiar with ESO at all. I haven't had a chance to play it. Ishimura, it's going to happen again. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a bug-free game, right? It's it's gonna happen again. I made fun of long play and and then watch watch this. I'm just damn it. Oh, karma's rough. One, two. There we go. Okay, okay, cool. I'm great under pressure apparently. <laughs> okay, f full transparency. Before this, I I broke about twelve lock picks in a row on an easy lock, and I copped out and did the uh, auto attempt. I know, I know, I'm, I'm terrible. <laughs> yeah, we got it that time. We got it. All right, let's keep, uh, you know, let's keep, let's keep exploring. Let's keep checking it out. Oh, fearsome competitor approaches. There we go. Rat meat. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Breaking two lockpicks. I know. I know. Hey, you're at save seventeen hundred now. I mean, you're you're breaking zero lockpicks. You're you're making lockpicks, right? <laughs> I think that's the room we were just in. All right, let's check our map. Oh, did we explore this entire place already? Oh no, okay, stockade right behind me. Perfect, perfect. We can go deeper yet. Uh, so basically, in ESO, you can make armor in the style of a specific race. So Nord style is more Viking, Argonian is more primal. Nice. And weapons as well. That's pretty awesome, man. I wonder what, uh... I wonder what Bosmer, you know, would look like. <laughs> I can... <laughs> Human flesh skulls, you look like Leatherface, right? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I can break zero. Just go another way. <laughs> that also a very effective strategy, long play. Also a very effective strategy. I keep trying to do Marwin controls. If if you see me randomly jumping and or shooting, it's it's because I'm trying to play like Marwin. Guys, we, we are the knight. Boom. <laughs> oh god, hello. No. No. We were only prepared for one. Okay, there we go. Have I finished with Morrowind? No, but I I, I played enough of it recently where I you know I wanted to I wanted to take a break for a little bit. I'm I'm definitely gonna go back and uh finish that that playthrough that I started recently. Uh, 
so many bows. We've we've found a million bows. So many bows, so little time. Or I should say so many bows, so similar stats. Oh man. Whew, okay. Alright, round three. Round three, do some stretches. Get ready. Okay, we got this. We got this. Easy money, easy money, easy money. That was a practice swing. That was a practice swing right there. No! <laughs> I was so confident. All right, one more. No! This is the one. There we go, baby. There we go, baby. <laughs> easy, easy as Sunday morning. Although Sunday morning ain't so easy. Depends on how your Saturday night was, right? <laughs> uh, Bosmer has cool armor in ESO, primal, tribal, and looks badass. Isn't a Bosmer a wood elf? Yeah, they're wood elves. I have a, I have a horrible confession to make. We are wood elves. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are a wood elf, not we are wood elves. I think we have a puzzle here. Alright, so got that. Ooh. Okay. Got a it's big brain time. Well, that didn't work. Let's twist this one again. Okay, we got two. Maybe this. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's grab a save so that we don't have to do that again and mess it up. <laughs> Some, sometimes in Bethesda games, you just kind of luck yourself into a puzzle victory. And uh, I'm not going to say that that's what happened. May have played a part. May, may have played a small little part in it, though. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, another another goblin. Already bit the dust. Here's his friend. Whoa, okay, what is that health? What is that health? Oh, I don't like that. Oh. We are gonna we are gonna run out of dungeon if we have to keep running. Oh god, oh god. Maybe time to break out. Good old handy dandy flare. Die, heathen! Ah. Headshot. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, that's uh, 16 for 35. I'm not super excited about that. Weight to gold ratio. Gonna let that one slip on by. Uh, you've been playing some strumming on your guitar, and you like to play all the strings of the chord first, then strum the smaller strings in the second part. Uh, I can show you what I mean on the Discord soon. Yeah, for sure, man. Throw it in there. Anything guitar related, I'm happy to. I'm, I'm happy to entertain. <laughs> I have a. Yeah, I'm assuming you're you're playing acoustic, Ian, right? Yeah, on your acoustic. Awesome. Have you ever heard of Dad Gad tuning? Got some uh, little experienced friends here. Just uh, take some take some free shots. Where do you, where do you think you're going? There we go. Can't leave one alive. That'd be too cruel, guys. Can't leave one alive. Got to get them all. But if you have never seen or heard Dad Gad tuning. Uh, Please do yourself a favor and look it up. It is awesome. It's what they use in uh, Irish folk music. Very, very cool sound. Well, that seemed like a lot of work for a very little reward. <laughs> uh, Dad Gad's fun, yeah. And I'm not going to say those. <laughs> I am not sure what FAC is. I'm not, I'm not familiar with that tuning. 
You know, let's go see what they were guarding over here. They, they all seem to be hiding over in this corner. Got some skulls. Nothing super exciting there. Iron arrow, lockpick, bow, rat, more rats, roasted rat. Potion of might, I'll take that. Okay, we got some gold out of it, so not a total loss, right? As long as there is money to be made, the adventurer is happy. Well, I think that may be it for uh, Fort Ash. Yeah, I think so. Let's uh, double back shortly and just, just double check and make sure. But I, I think that is all she wrote. And then we will continue on the road to the City of Coral. Try to resist making jokes about The Walking Dead along the way. <laughs> I actually went back and watched the first episode only of that show a while ago. And I forgot how freaking awesome that first season was. Oh my god. Anyone watch Walking Dead in here? Man, that first episode blew my mind. Alright, straight on into Monday. Back in the beautiful outdoors. Uh, let's get reoriented on our map. So we've got to be heading that away to Coral. And so we go. Your money or your life. Whoa, now. I, I don't think you know who you're messing with. All right. <laughs> we can I'm a terrible archer. If you like. But it only takes one arrow. <laughs> oh god, I'm about to die actually. Holy crap, let me let me grab some Let me grab some heals and not flare. Uh hopefully we did not bite off more than we can chew right here. Well, it seems he ran away actually. So, so may, maybe uh Oh god, he has a lot of health. No. Can we just backpedal him though? Because he is uh, heavy armor. Oh my god. Obli <laughs> Oblivion is a totally balanced game. I promise. I promise. <laughs> Come on, yeah. I, I, we didn't even need a heal. We had this all along. Look at this. Never stood a chance. <laughs> This guy's a kitty cat pincushion. There we go. That's how I felt when I went back and watched the first season of Game of Thrones. Yes. Yes, a very similar feeling. I need to go and rewatch it. I haven't I haven't seen it in a in a hot minute, but oh my god. You know, I almost got so burned by season 8 that like it like physically pains me to even try and watch it again because it just makes me think about all those <laughs> all those terrible <laughs> memories I have associated with season 8 oh god it was bad season 1 was amazing though I think uh, anyone will agree on that also let's grab heals as we're, as we're moving on found nothing of use there See, yeah, it's difficult when you know how it ends. Agreed, man. Agreed. It's like all that years and years of buildup. You know, it was supposed to be like the grand finale finish at like a 4th of July extravaganza. Like just huge bombs and freedom and awesomeness. And then they, you know, gave us like a little party popper or something. That was terrible. God, it was such a letdown. They needed an extra season. I agree 100%, Ishimura. They tried to rush 
and it made sense. You know, I mean, what was it? David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, right? Or am I thinking of D.B. Cooper? I know Benioff is in there, though. <laughs> they had a Star Wars deal, right? So they were trying to tie up all the, you know, all their distractions so that they could go get that sweet, sweet Disney money. Are the rumors about Wood Elves true? Well, Kent, I can neither confirm nor deny that statement. <laughs> but if it has something to do with ritualistic cannibalism, maybe. <laughs> uh, D.B. Cooper, that's an interesting story. and I, Yeah, it is a very interesting story. He's dead, though. Like, let's be real. Let's be real, Ishimura. D and D, dumb and dumber, a hundred percent. Couldn't have said it better myself. Couldn't have said it better myself. And we are here, in the city of Coral. He gave it to you for a reason. Did he say why? Monkas, right? <laughs> I've arrived at Wainan Priory. Now I must take the Amulet of Kings to Joffrey. All right. I got recommended a YouTube documentary about D.B. Cooper the other day. I, I recommend watching it if you're not familiar with the story. You know, that's that's an interesting kind of conspiracy to dive into for a Excuse little bit. Me. Can I help you? Are you looking for Prior Mabel or Joffrey? Joffrey. I am looking for Joffrey. No, I must speak to Joffrey. I think he's sleeping, but it must be important. Go ahead upstairs and wake him. You know, that won't be confusing. Just a, you know, casual, casual cannibal coming to wake you up in the middle of the night. Nothing, nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> He's not sleeping. He's reading. <laughs> Let that one slip by you, I'm Tom. Brother Joffrey. What do you want? I brought you the Amulet of Kings. This cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let me see it. Here you are, sir. Nine. This is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? I will tell him the last as words. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Close shut the jaws His of meaning oblivion. meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of Oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Mehrunes Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. Ah. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. Well, then how can Oblivion threaten us, sure. guys? How Only can it happen? the Emperors happen? truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great, great power. power. Okay. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. Well, we can't let that happen. It may be that the dragon fires <laughs> protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. We can't, we can't let the dragon fires go out, man. For centuries? Not on my watch. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the, the Blades. Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. Ah. From time to time, he would ask the about the thickens. child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. Ooh. The illegitimate son, Uriel. What are you doing, my man? Come on. thought you were noble. His name is Martin. Uriel's stepping out. He I don't know. Akutosh Maybe I don't want to relight the, the dragon flames. Kvatch, I don't know if I support that. <laughs> you must go to Kvatch and find him at once. 
If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. Okay. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Awesome. Quest updated. Find the heir. Do we want to ask anything? You know, let's ask about my main man, Boris. Uh, so I think he's dead. Let me catch up with chat. I think he's dead. The money still hasn't shown up, I don't think. See, that's the interesting part, Ishimura. That's the interesting part. Where the money at? Although, it could just be where DB died, and no one knows where the body is. And I'll be back in a bit. Awesome, Ian. If I'm offline, thank you so much for stopping by. I'll catch you on the next one. One of the youngest blades ever to serve in the Emperor's personal guard. I am glad to hear that he survived, but I fear he will take the Emperor's death particularly hard. I mean, he is a great guy. I, I don't blame Boris, There's right? No time. You must find Martin before the enemy does. The enemy. We cannot let the enemy find him. That's not suspicious at all. Cabinet door needs a key. Secret door? Yes. I don't know. Totally not, right? Well, let's uh, check the old map. What is stop number two? Oh, the Siege of Kavach. I remember this. I remember that. How do you I'm the let's see, let's see if we can get any side Aaron quests name, going on around here. And this is Wainan Priory. Uh, do you need any well, assistance? I normally stay out of the affairs of the great folk that come through Wainon Priory to see Master Joffrey. But go ahead and take this hammer. You might have use of it, and I have others. Well, we both have better things to do than okay. stand here all day exchanging idols. Casual lessons. hammer? Yeah, I'll Good take day it. <laughs> I was looking for a quest, but if you just want to give me the loot up front, I, you know, I'm okay with that too. Not, not very exciting, but. You know, I, I can't say no. Can't say no. Let's check out the lodge. Let's see if there's anything going on in here. Negative. Alright, I've, pl I've played enough, you know, Dungeons and Dragons and fantasy games in, in my life. I think I just have to go find a tavern, right? That That's the next logical step. If you're trying to get quests, you go to the tavern. Sling some ale. You know? Get some loose lips rocking and some gold exchanging hands. Well, this doesn't look like a tavern, but we'll, we will see what it is. What is this place? Am I near? Oh, I'm by Coral, that's right. Welcome to <laughs> Coral. Keep your nose clean and we'll be good friends. Semi blind playthrough. Make a mistake. <laughs> and the coral guard will be all over you like a cheap curus. Okay. Uh, He's the fox thief that the Imperial Watch are always going on about. He likes to steal Thieves from rich folk. Thieves Guild, Grey Fox. Take care. It's starting to connect again. Starting to get the synapses firing. <laughs> Do you have to question for chat? Do you have to murder someone to get the Dark Brotherhood to approach you, or I, do I just have to sleep after killing a humanoid? Because I've already done that. Why is his face the only unmodded one? That's a great question. <laughs> you know, I, I, I just had such a soft spot for the Coral Guard. I went in and I just deleted it, you know, from the, from the directory. That's a bookstore. Hi there. Hi there. Good afternoon, sir. Jerolan Doran. I'm only asking for enough to feed me kids. Okay. Well, have a coin, beggar, and tell me the news. Thank you, kind sir. All right, let's see if we can get some rumors out of him. The now. Emperor and his three sons dead right under the noses of the Imperial Guard. It's a disgrace. He totally just changed voice actors. <laughs> My... Blessings of Did I was I the only one who caught that? He, he started he started as as one guy and and, and finished as uh, as another. That was kind of that was kind of interesting, right? 
Let's go. Let's go check the uh, cathedral. Hmm. And then look for the nearest tavern. I didn't notice. That's. I'm Otis it is Lord, weird. Prime of Stendar. You stand before God's servant in the house of the Nine. Be humble, and show respect. Only the most utmost respect. Go from bad to worse nowadays. Priests murdered on the chapel altar. Oh, what next? <gasps> Uh, especially since they have five? Really? Five? Is that... <laughs> I, I could believe that, if that's a fact. I knew they didn't have a lot. Is is five the real number, though? <laughs> that would be, that, that's amazing. A great man, and a true believer, deep in faith and wisdom. Ah, yes. He's not part of our community here, but a resident of Wayne and Priory, the monastery southeast of town. Okay. Leave me alone. Does does anyone need any questing done? Blessings. I'm Orig Oh, she looks wild. Servant of Stendar. I guess just rumors. I'm not listening to you. It's because I don't like you. Fair enough. You I'm know what? To it, you. At least she's honest, right? <laughs> at, at least at Go least on. she's honest. Go on. Okay. Everybody just wants to talk about the chapel attack. All right. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna move it on to try the local tavern. Or actually, let's check down here. Uh, let's see if there's anyone needs key. Needs key. Needs key. Okay. Off to the tavern. Read any good books lately? I just looked up how many voice actors this game has on Google, and the first result was one. Oh God. <laughs> he just has a. Very dynamic palette. <laughs> some of them, I mean, you can tell some of them are like totally the same person. It's hysterical. I love it. Dog? I'm really trainer? brilliant. I love dogs. I love dogs. Okay. Doesn't everyone? I think so. Can I not ask her about the dogs? <laughs> that's That's what I'm most interested in. They probably call us the dog people here in town. Ramalis and I love dogs. We have quite a few. Okay. So sweet and well-behaved, you wouldn't believe. Awesome. I'm thinking of heading over to Renoir's to buy some books. That wasn't a rumor, but okay. Glad to know. Uh, they put all their money on, on Sean Bean and Patrick Stewart. So I don't know why, but auto... <laughs> auto... Auto mod blocked Bean. I don't know, <laughs> guys. Watch it. If you, you long play, you start saying Bean in my chat. I'm done. <laughs> I have no, I have no idea why that got auto modded. <laughs> you you're banned. It, 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 you and your crew, you start dropping the B word in here. I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna be able to keep the stream going, guys. I'm gonna have to go off for uh, TOS. Ooh, the mage! Ah, oh, the mages guild. We can get quests here. Yeah, that's his last name. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, that that one's new to me. Interesting. That one's new Go to on. me. Go on. A pleasure on. to make your acquaintance. I'm Athragard of the mages guild. How can I serve you? You can give me some quests, and please, God, stop looking at me. That is creepy, man. <laughs> Are you interested in joining? You'll need to talk to Tikius then. Okay. Otherwise, just talk to the head of any of the local guild halls. Awesome. All right. Well, let's get Bye. a quest. I I will, you know, probably have to end stream here pretty soon. Can't go for as long today. Just fair warning. But Excuse you know, me. let's get in this My guild and and tee ourselves up for the uh, the next installment. Well met, guildmate. Have you we are talking to. Hello. I don't think we've met. Are you new in town? Is this the one we have to talk to? Got it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, Likewise, I am, and I am pleased to I'm meet you. I'm always glad to meet someone new. Welcome. I'm sure my mother would be glad to meet you as well. Awesome. Okay. Uh, what's my streaming schedule? That's a great question. Uh, it's 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 a bit fluctuating. I'm you know much. I'm streaming much more often on the weekends now. It's kind of hard with a. a 
full-time job and I, I work a, pr a job with projects and my current project is West Coast. So I live on the East Coast, but I work West Coast hours. So it's like hard to, hard to get my life in uh, order. <laughs> But you can look at, look for me on the weekends, usually about this time. I am Alberic Litter of the Mages Guild. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. Okay, yes. Can you tell me where I go to join? Bye. How do you do? None of these people are named Tebius, which is what I thought we were looking for. What is happening? What? Uh, Mages Guild? If you want to please? join the guild... You can ask any of the local guild leaders. Tethius. Here in Coral. T Wait, but Good day. I get I get we have to talk to Tikius. But where is Tikius? Is he in the guild? Or is he What do you want? Tree. Right there. Greetings, citizen. <laughs> is there something I can do for you? Are you perhaps interested in joining the Mages Guild? Most certainly. Yes, well, sign me up. It's no small matter. Membership in the guild is quite an honor, but also a responsibility. Do you wish to join the guild? I mean, how big a responsibility are we talking? Like, do I have to stop eating people? Because, because if that is, if that's in the in the fine print, you know, I'm sorry, we we may, we may have to move on to the fighters guild. I'm sure they'd allow it. They'd be cool with it, man. <laughs> Very well. You are now an associate of the Mages Guild. Okay. The full guild hall is now available for Thank, your Thanks for use. explaining the rules. <laughs> You'll need a recommendation from each local guild hall in order to advance further. Until then, the Arcane University will be closed to... Welcome to the guild. Awesome. And good luck to you. Sounds like a plan. Mage's guild joined. And you know what? That may that may just be Bye. the place where we well stop for tonight. Met, so let's grab a save. Long play. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope your stream went well. Everyone in chat, check out Long Play. She's awesome. Super cool. Guys, thank you for stopping by so much. And Kent, have a great one, my friend. Hope everybody's weekend finishes off solid as it started. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. This has been the Coffee Nut. And I'm out.